I like channeling a lot of master morality. I realize that this is kind of what I'm into. I don't like channeling weakness, but I'm realizing that I've done it so much that now I have to do it, otherwise my fan base is going to be fucking confused. And honestly, the bulk of any fan base isn't going to be a lot of smart people. I'm lucky because I have so few YouTube subscribers that I can break past that mold of stupidity. In fact, I've done it so well since 2011. You already know I'm here, I'm in this. Let's go. For example, the anti-war issue, whenever I would post something anti-war on Facebook that seemed to channel that slave morality of, hey, you know, these brown people are getting shot up, that would piss off a lot of the reacto vegetarian tards and I have to explain to them that that's basically the biggest anti-war sentiment, the slave morality ones, the ones that aren't nationally invested in being anti-war, just doing it for the brown niggas, those fucks. I have to appeal to lower bases of intelligence for my agenda. I realize now I can't do that shit. I can't. I can't channel anything that isn't reactionary. Because niggas don't get it. Like, I can't talk about the gun issue in a way that's basic, that appeals to slavish morality. I can't use the Constitution. I have to go all the way to say, let's just ban black people that are openly anti-American. Let's just do that. Let's just get rid of the pure Dalits. I had to say that. I had to go that direction. I can't even go soft anymore. I can't do things on a logical basis. And that does piss me off. It's really annoying. Because when you go hard so much, you essentially alienate a lot of your audience. You make them really piss the fuck off when you say stuff that they're not ready for. And they're, and they're never going to be ready for it. This is an issue of multiple lifetimes, multiple generations, multiple millenniums sometimes. Because... Let's face it, we overestimate our audience, and people are just fucking selfish. They really fucking are. If I talk about healthcare, I have to do it in a way that's somewhat hard right. I have to say, well, this shit don't work because of black people, which is true in a way. It's also true of the shitty demographic we have, baby boomers, of money sucks, money money leeches, super Jews. I have to go that direction. I have to say well that really health having everyone use health care to dock of and things of this nature that's not intellectually practical. Of the latter, which is what I did, it works, it makes sense, and it doesn't bother a lot of people. But when it, everything else, the former, that, that fucks with people. So I can't just go and say the soft, libertarian arguments, the uh, sheepish things, because then I'm going to get a lot of heat from the intellectual vanguards that follow me. And I don't really like that. But such is the life I chose. And I do hate saying weak, sheepish stuff. But that puts me in a position where I really do need to get the fuck out of New York if I want to make it. You know, intellectually, in terms of fame, in terms of things of this nature. I have to really do a lot of. 
as I put myself in more of a vanguard location, a smarter location, one where I can channel things full blast, which is something I like doing. But it's important to go soft sometimes. The whole go hard or go home mentality, that has holes in it. That's really for people that suck at going hard. They can go hard all they want. Because... They're not going to go as hard as they think they can. They're not going to go hard the way I go hard. So, that that's terrible in and of itself. And it was Mr. Wonka 7. Fuck. Take care, everybody.